When you come into the school system, you're given the answer to all your questions. <clears throat> Meaning that the teacher teaches you question and answer at the same time. What we do is the teacher says, class, Christopher Columbus discovered America. We write it down. 1492, Nina Pinter, Santa Maria Mayflower. We write it down. Never once do we question the teacher. Never once do we say, well, I think Christopher Columbus was drunk and lost and the Indians discovered him. <laughs> Never, we, nah. The reason we don't ask these questions is because from the time we are very, very young, the point of our education is for you to become well-educated so you can get a job or so that you can hold a job or so that you can be successful. Learn math, not to learn astronomy, but learn math so that you can count money. Learn how to read, not so that you can read the seasons, read nature, but read so that you can write a resume, so that you can take orders. Your first education is in socialization. Now follow me here. The first thing you learn is how to sit in class. Don't talk out of turn. <laughs> Raise your hand when you want to speak. Shortest in the front, tallest in the back. This is order, and this creates an ordered society. The teacher now says, now, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Your socialization tells you don't question the authority. You say, okay, let me write it down because really the point to my education is for me to get a job. So if I'm going to write this down, really what I want is a good grade. I'm not worried about whether this is true knowledge or not. I'm not worried about, oh, did Christopher Columbus discover America? Did he not discover? All of that is irrelevant. What the purpose of our education becomes is I am memorizing what the teacher tells me so that when the teacher asks me two or three weeks later, I could tell the teacher exactly what the teacher told me two weeks before. And then those who have said exactly or close to exactly what the teacher has told them two weeks ago get the highest grade. The educational process is for you to memorize what you know. Then when someone asks you, now what do you know? You speak from memory. Many of us come to school and we don't seek knowledge. We want an A, a B, or a C grade. Now the trick here becomes this. When you begin to get a little more mature in your education and in your life, you begin to ask questions like, well, who am I? And where am I? Now when you ask questions like, well, who am I? What happens is intelligence does not answer the question. Memory answers the question. What we have is called training. And then you have to ask yourself, now what are we being trained for? And what we're being trained for is, again, the job market. We're being trained to work better. This is a more advanced version of slavery. We're being taught how to be a good business manager, a good computer analyst, a good recording artist, a good doctor, lawyer. But all of these titles are false when asking about self and who you are. So through your education, yes, you must memorize things, and that makes you knowledgeable. But once you gain knowledge, now you have to begin to question the knowledge that you have. Most people, when they say, we need a knowledge of self, what they do is they go on a journey for it. And they start looking or searching for knowledge of themselves or searching for themselves. Self has gone nowhere. What has happened is self is standing here 
as a child. And through your education, you put knowledge on yourself. Knowledge is like a coat when you don't control it with intelligence. It's a coat. The first coat, my name. Second coat, oh, I'm my mother's son, coat. Or I'm a brother to my sister or brother, next coat. I am uh, in school, I am a student, next coat. You grow up, you get a wife or a husband. I am a wife or a husband, coat. You go further in your career. Now I am an MC, coat. I am a doctor, coat, policeman, coat. All of these coats on top of self help you to forget self. And what we do is we begin to move by way of the coats, not by way of the self because we forgot the self. The coats begin to rule us. When you go into your job, you go to work, you put on the coat of whatever job you're doing, and it works for while you're working. But then when you leave the job and go home, you're supposed to take the coat off, hang it up, and be yourself. But if we don't have practice with self, and if we are trained to memorize, we forget, which is our strength here, memory, we forget what self is. If you take off all the coats, you'll be left with nothing but self. Self is not something to gain. It's always with you. Self is not some place you got to go and attain a new knowledge. The more knowledge you get is the more coats you're putting on. Believe these are the sciences that will walk us into the 21st century, healthy, wealthy, and wise.